10 Biggest Hygiene Mistakes Women Make Every Day Good hygiene is an essential part of everyone's daily routines, but it's often a little more important for women to remember certain tips and tricks. Women definitely have some added pressure when it comes to looking good, but things like makeup, skincare, and body care products can actually cause infections or other bad reactions if they aren't handled properly. So in this video, we've decided that we'll go over 10 biggest hygiene mistakes women make every day. But before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to our channel because we publish new videos every day. And most importantly, we want you to join our community of boss ladies. With that being said, let's get started. Number 1. Sharing Makeup We know, we know, makeup can get super expensive and you just want it all. Who could blame you? But Sephora just gets so pricey and even drugstore products can add up when you're building your collection but you have a small budget. So what's a girl to do? Well, you share with your friends, of course. No harm in all that, right? Sadly, sharing makeup is not the best idea. Look, your friend may have a great new mascara that you've been dying to try or a shade of lipstick that you're convinced would look absolutely perfect on you. You're probably really tempted to try it, but resist the urge. You never know what kind of bacteria could be on someone else's makeup. You don't want to risk irritating your skin or getting some kind of nasty eye infection because you just had to try out your friend's shiny liquid liner. Number 2. Leaving your toothbrush out you probably leave your toothbrush sitting on the side of the sink every day without giving it a second thought. Why would you do anything different? Well, believe it or not, leaving your toothbrush sitting out is actually kind of unhygienic. Even if your bathroom is pretty clean, there's still a lot of bacteria around. For example, each time someone flushes the toilet, bacteria can get stirred up and stick to different surfaces in the bathroom. The last place you want a ton of bacteria is your toothbrush. After all, the whole reason you brush your teeth is to get rid of bacteria. Number 3. Skipping the post-workout shower Once you actually build up the motivation to hit the gym and get a good workout in, it might seem like the hard part is over. But when you're leaving the gym, all you want to do is eat a giant meal and then lay down and take a nap. Not so fast! You've got to get that post-workout shower in before you do anything else. Even if you know that you're sweaty and probably don't smell too great, you might dread taking a shower after your workout. The last thing you want to do is force your tired legs to stand for a minute longer and washing your hair when your arms are weak and exhausted can feel like absolute torture. But if you let the sweat just sit on your skin, it will make you and your clothes smell worse as the time passes, and it can also cause acne. Number 4. Using Expired Makeup Ideally, your favorite makeup products would never run out, right? You hate hitting the pan on your favorite powder, blush, or eyeshadow. And the day that you squeeze your foundation bottle to feel only air coming out is a day that you dread. When you pull out your favorite mascara wand and all the product left is caked and dry, when there's barely a nub left of your favorite lipstick, when you've sharpened your favorite eyeliner pencil out of existence, no girl likes having to replace her favorite products. But hanging on to your makeup until it runs out is actually a recipe for disaster. There are expiration dates on different formulas of makeup, and as much as we'd sometimes like to ignore them, they actually do matter. Make sure to throw out your makeup products when they expire, or you could end up damaging your skin or having a bad reaction. Number 5. Using Scented Body Products Scented body products probably seem great at first, and they definitely smell great. You may love sampling everything at Bath & Body Works, and sure, you'd love to smell like flowers or passion fruit or vanilla all day long. But before you pick up a big gift basket of scented products for yourself, pause. Scented products can contain harsh, unnecessary chemicals that can have a negative effect on sensitive skin. But the good news is that there are lots of wonderful unscented body products out there. All you need is a little perfume and deodorant to smell good. It might be fun to smell like candy apple or tropical fruits, but layering scented products can actually make the scent overpowering. Unscented products are simpler and better for your skin in the long run. 
It may seem basic, but keeping it simple is honestly key when it comes to skincare. Remember, less is always more. Number 6. Sleeping with Makeup On Sleeping with makeup on is one of the absolute worst things that you can do for your skin. Quality makeup usually won't bother your skin if you wear it regularly unless your skin is super sensitive, but if you sleep with it on, you'll be pretty much guaranteed to break out, and no one wants that. We know that it's super annoying to come home at the end of a long night and have to take off all your makeup. You're exhausted, you just want to crawl into your warm, cozy bed, and the last thing on earth that you feel like doing is dragging yourself into the bathroom to wash your face. But you should never skip your nighttime skincare routine. You should at least keep a package of makeup wipes near your bed for nights when you just can't be bothered to go through your entire routine. Always remove your makeup before bed. Number 7. Using the same pillowcase Most people wouldn't bother to change their sheets every day. Well, unless you're really a neat freak. But you should change your pillowcases every day. This is a good suggestion for everyone, but it's even more important for women. Because women are more likely to use makeup and different skincare products, these products can rub off your skin and leave traces on your pillowcases. Then when you go to sleep again, you're spending 8 hours with your skin on a dirty pillowcase. This can cause breakouts and persistent acne on certain areas that touch your pillowcase all night. For example, your cheeks and chin. If you often get pimples in these areas, you may not be changing your pillowcases enough. Make sure to wash your face thoroughly before going to bed each night and slip on a fresh pillowcase every day. It might seem excessive, but you will definitely notice a difference when you look in the mirror. Number 8. Using a dull razor You might dread the day that you have to change your razor blade. After all, blades cost money and depending on the brand that you use, the cost can add up if you change them frequently. So it can be tempting to just keep using the same blade for as long as possible. Well, not only will this leave a lot more hair on your legs and cause nasty stubble instead of a smooth shave, it can also be very unhygienic. Women shave more than men do, so although men should also change their blades frequently, this tip is more important for women. Using a dull razor blade can actually lead to more nicks and cuts on your skin, which are not only painful but can lead to infection. Plus, an older blade can build up bacteria, skin cells, and hair. Come on, you don't really want that touching your legs. Number 9. Wearing Dirty Socks There's nothing more annoying than being in a rush and realizing that you have no matching pairs of clean socks. Sometimes in a pinch, you might just throw on a pair of dirty socks and rush out the door. Even if they don't smell too bad, you shouldn't wear socks more than one day at a time. Your feet can get very sweaty and the insides of your shoes can be a breeding ground for bacteria. Wash your socks! Number 10. Taking Hot Showers While hot showers are super relaxing and can feel amazing in the moment, all that heat can actually be bad for you. When you have the water turned to a super hot temp, you can do damage to your skin. The hot water can dry out your skin and it's extra damaging for the most sensitive skin on your face. Don't turn up the water too hot, as tempting as it can be, and make sure to use a good moisturizer on your face and body to help repair your skin. Thank you for being a part of Rebella! Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos which we recommend you watch next, and we'll see you back tomorrow!